A terrible tragedy. Three people killed in a crash. We're told the people inside that car were on their way to a high school basketball game when it happened. News Force Hunter McCatherine is in Blanchard for us. The community of Dibble, where some of the victims are from, is in mourning today. Those close to the victims told us this tragedy has rocked the whole town. Impatience behind the wheel leads to a deadly result. Oklahoma Highway Patrol Trooper Eric Foster tells News 4 that a woman in a pickup chose not to wait when she drove up behind several vehicles on a two lane highway outside Purcell. For some reason, she got impatient and decided to pass them at a hill crest in a no passing zone. When she did that and she entered the other lane, uh, SUV was coming over the hill and they met head on at the hill crest. That SUV with four people inside, two teenagers and the adult driver were killed from the head on collision. The lone survivor, a two year old little girl. That car seat saved that, that child's life. Dibble Ag teacher Jeff Evans told News 4 that the group was en route to a Dibble High School basketball game to watch a relative, but they never made it. Our little school has just been devastated today, but one thing about this community is in a time of need, um, this community really rallies around our own. Dibble Public Schools Superintendent sent News 4 a statement saying in part, Dibble Schools is deeply saddened by the loss of life resulting from yesterday's auto accident that occurred en route to a high school basketball game. We have taken measures to facilitate a grieving and healing process for our students and staff. In a school this size, uh, when we have a tragedy such as this, it affects everyone, so everybody's just heartbroken. In Dibble, Hunter McCatherine, Oklahoma's News 4. Man, oh man. There is a memorial fund set up at First National Bank in Blanchard. Donations will be used to help with financial expenses and those affected by the tragedy.